What is up YouTube? Today I'm coming back at you with another DVD slash Blu-ray pickups video. Um, before I get started, I just want to say, some of you may have noticed, I'm just trying out a new titling system for my DVD and Blu-ray pickups videos. Uh, let me know in the, in the comment box below if you like this sort of um, title to my videos or if you prefer the old style where I just numbered them all. Um, just let me know and uh, yeah, so let's just get right into it. So I have 14 different things here um, and since this is October I have quite a number of horror things. I don't normally pick up a lot of horror movies but during October is when I normally go and try to get my horror fix and I normally watch pretty much exclusively um, horror movies during the month of October and that is no different this time so I actually have quite a lot of horror. It's not all horror pickups but a lot of it is. So I have um, a split of DVDs and Blu-rays because I, I tend to pick up both and um, yeah let's just get right into it. We'll go to the DVDs first and then we'll get to the Blu-rays. Um, I've got some really cool stuff on Blu-ray too so. Um, so the first thing that I picked up is uh, something that I actually have been really really hunting down and now that a new version of it came out I was able to pick up the old version cheap and that is Jason Goes to Hell. Um, this is a movie I've been trying to pick up to complete my Friday the 13th collection and uh, I've been really really looking for this in the wild and I ended up picking this up on eBay. Um, a lot of people are offloading their DVD copies of this movie because the new Shout Factory release came out with a Blu-ray version um, but I'm not going to spend $120 to get the whole set again when I already have most of them on Blu-ray. And um, <clears throat> Friday, 13th, Friday the 13th is not my favorite horror franchise. It's not horrible but it's not my favorite and so I don't really mind having the DVD for some of the movies. I've got most of them on Blu-ray but this is one that's been really elusive. It's kind of been a hard one to find especially since I wanted to get the unrated version of this movie because I hear it's a lot better. So uh, this contains both versions. This is the original DVD release and uh, I had I picked this up off eBay for like eight bucks so uh, not bad. It got here in a day so that was crazy and it's in really great shape and came with the uh, insert and everything. So um, I haven't watched this one yet. Um, I've been making it a point to try to finish the Friday the 13th movies because I haven't watched them all before. I watched some of them but not all of them. I've been making it a point to try to finish and watch them all. I just finished uh, Jason Takes Manhattan and that's the one that I have watched last and then I'm going to go to Jason Goes to Hell and then I'll go to Jason X which I already own Jason X. So uh, Next thing I have is a brand new release that just came out a couple weeks ago, I think, um, on Blu-ray and DVD, but I got the DVD version. Um, I picked up the Laurel and Hardy, um, de the Definitive Restorations. So this um, came out on Blu-ray and DVD. I would have loved to get the Blu-ray, but um, I bought this in the buy to get one free sale on Target.com, and Target didn't carry the Blu-ray, so I just got the DVD version but it um, has all the same special features and all the same stuff, but it's just DVD quality instead of Blu-ray, which I'm not too upset about because these movies are from like the 30s and the 20s, so I'm not like too torn up about it, but um, it would have been nice to get the Blu-rays. Anyway, I'm a big fan of Laurel and Hardy. I really like the comedy duo, um, and this definitive restoration looks absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And there's actually some shorts on here that were thought to be missing that they actually included on home video for the first time in this set. So that's really really cool. I've already watched it. It was really good. Um, and it also has some of their like more famous um, shorts on here and some of their more famous full pictures. And um, I'm really happy to have this set. Um, uh, it has Sons of the Desert so that's always really great. Uh, the Battle of the Century. I think that's the new one. I think it's the new one. Maybe not. I don't remember, but um, it's really, really cool. I'm just really happy to have it. It's a six disc set and it's pretty well packaged. And um, yeah, just really happy to have some more Laurel and Hardy in my collection. I'm a big fan of theirs, so um, any extra things I can get. And the special features are really great too. I've watched some of the special features on that already. Really great special features. All right, so the next thing I got was uh, something, uh, I don't really remember how much I paid for that last one just because I bought it in the buy to get one free sale and some of the things I got were free, so. Um, but this I do know what I paid and uh, I 
we'll get into this a little bit afterwards, but um, basically my Best Buy stopped selling movies altogether last year. And this year, my Walmart has downsized their movie section to just two shelves. And they got rid of my favorite bargain bin that I've ever seen. My Walmart used to sell, have bargain bins with movies that were $3.75. And now the bargain, that's been replaced by a $5 mar uh, bargain bin. So kind of sucks that my the price went up on the bargain bin, but... Um, I did get something cool out of it, so this is from the $5 bargain bin, and that is, uh, I've seen a lot of these new, these new collections, like this new bundle style, it looks like they're from Paramount, this is a Nicolas Cage collection, but this seems to be like a sort of new movie bundle style that they're doing, I know there's been multiple different types of movie bundles that have been made, I've got another Nicolas Cage movie bundle, but this is a newer style, and I noticed there were some other ones too, some other really good ones, like there was... If I didn't already own the movies, I would have gotten this one. There was a three-movie sci-fi bundle, and it had Arrival, Annihilation, and then some other movie. But those two movies alone would be worth the five bucks. But uh, anyways, uh, this comes with Face Off, uh, Snake Eyes, and Next. I've heard of Face Off and Snake Eyes. I heard the pretty good Nicolas Cage movies. But uh, Next I've never heard of, so that's going to be a blind watch for me. Um, but yeah, for five bucks, I figured all these movies, um, they come with the individual releases too. So like all the special features will be on them. So that's always really cool because sometimes bundles have multiple movies per DVD um, and you don't get any special features. This actually has the individual releases. So that's really nice uh, for five bucks. It's really nice. I, I like that. <clears throat> this next thing I got is a complete blind buy um, and I had never even heard of it. Came out. Uh, last year, I think, 2019. Yeah, 2019. This is a straight to, uh, DVD movie. Never heard, never heard of it, but it's got Bruce Willis in it. It's called uh, Trauma Center. Um, I still haven't watched this one yet. It's supposed to be like a detective thriller, and um, I'm not opposed to directed movie uh, DVD movies. I actually like a, quite a few of them. Like for instance, the Dragon Heart sequels. I really like, except for number two. Um, those were all really good directed video sequels, and some of the Tremor sequels I really liked. Um, and then there's a, uh, another one with Bruce Willis that I got recently called First Kill. It has Hayden Christensen. That's a pretty good direct uh, video movie. So um, interested to check this one out. I saw online it doesn't have really great ratings, but I picked it up as a blind buy for five bucks and uh, we'll see. Um, came with a slip cover, which is always nice, but um, yeah, don't really know much about that one. <clears throat> It'll be interesting to check that one out. Hopefully it's not too, ter too terribly bad. This next one was one that I knew had come out, um, but my Walmart, like I said, had downsized, so they weren't carrying this one in Blu-ray. But um, this is a brand new release of this movie for Halloween, and that is Casper, the 25th anniversary collection. Um, this is the original Casper movie with some animated uh, movies and some five episodes from the cartoon. Um, and all the special features from the original release. So that's really cool. Also comes with this really cool lenticular um, cover, and I really like the lenticular cover. So yeah, I didn't own this one. It was 10 bucks for this special edition. And uh, yeah, really happy to own that one. That's a classic from my childhood I absolutely loved. This next one is one that I've been just holding off getting because I liked the movie, but it's not like the best in this series. Um, I had been waiting for it to just come down in price and then I found this one in the $5 bargain bin. And so I finally picked it up and I got Glass. And uh, like I said, $5 bargain bin. I'd seen all the other movies in the series, Split and Unbreakable, so um, I was excited to see how the series ended. And it wasn't as bad as everyone said it was, but it was not as good as the other two for sure. I think Unbreakable is still the best one in the series. But um, nice to have it. it, has some special features on here, alternate opening and deleted scenes, and uh, some interviews with the cast and director. So really cool, not a bare bones release, but for five bucks, can't really complain. And it completes my um, uh, Unbreakable Universe collection. The last DVD that I have here is one that I had watched on streaming and I thought it was really great and I found it in the bargain bin for five bucks. It's a comedy movie and I really don't mind buying comedy movies on DVD because there's not really a whole lot, go whole lot going on in special effects, but um, this is one that I've really liked so I, I wanted to get this and that is Tag. Um, 
It's a pretty good movie. Uh, it's a solid, rewatchable comedy movie, I think, and uh, it's based on a true story, which is always cool. And uh, it does have a special feature on here, and it's meeting the real Tag Brothers, so basically the people that um, the story is inspired off of, so that's really cool. Definitely worth getting that one. All right, now we'll move on to the good stuff. And I definitely saved the best for last, and all the Blu-rays are really good, I think. So most of the horror stuff I got was all Blu-ray related. And um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. I got some really cool Blu-rays here. So this first one is one that's been out for a while. I know I've seen this set last year, and I just I wanted to get it last year, and I just never really jumped on it. But this year, I finally, you know, it was the buy two get one free and I decided to finally jump on this and I picked up the Chucky 7 movie collection. So these are the original 7 uh, Chucky movies, the child play movies, whatever you want to call them, in the really cool um, box art here. Um, I had never seen any of the child's play movies before buying this set. I've now watched the first three and these are really good horror movies. I, I, th I like these better than Friday the 13th for sure um, because my issue with Friday the 13th is the first one's amazing, second one's good, and then from there on they really just focus on gore instead of actual like creepiness or even just like jump scares. And uh, it does pick up later, but I'll get into that in a different video. But needless to say, I really like the Chucky movies. They do a really good job at uh, providing a good story so far. I'm three movies in and the quality has not really dipped at all. So. Um, it's pretty consistent, and um, the the quality of these transfers are really good. And actually, the first Child's Play movie in this set actually has a really good Blu-ray menu. Like, that's one thing that I really don't like about Blu-rays, is a lot of the times they have really lazy menus, unlike early DVDs and a lot of DVD releases used to have like really cool animated menus. This version of Child's Play has a really cool menu, and you can tell they put actual work into this menu. Because like some of the old DVD menus, there's actually little hidden, um, hidden special featurettes that you uh, can trigger in the menu. Um, so that's something that's really cool, and I really appreciate that in this set. But there's a ton of special features. I've already watched some of them, like um, how they made the animatronic original Chucky doll and some of the other ones. But it's a really good set. I highly recommend that one. Alright, this next one is actually um, a movie I've already seen, and this is a classic horror movie, and I've just never really bought it because, I don't, I don't really know, I almost bought it on Steelbook years ago, but I just never really picked it up, but I got this one from Arrow Video, and this is my first Arrow Video release, and that is An American Werewolf in London. Um, like I said, this is my first Arrow Video release that I've ever bought, um, and I'm really pleased with it. The picture looks great, um, it's got a ton of special features. I really like these boutique um, companies that are licensing these movies and releasing them with tons and tons of special features. It's super cool, and I hope that there's more of them in the future, like a lot more of these in the future, uh, and wider variety of genres, because it tends to be mostly horror movies that get these boutique releases, and um, I, I really want more like action. like. I never grew up with horror movies, so I was my parents didn't like horror movies at all, neither of them. They didn't forbid me from watching them, but we never owned any and I never watched any because we didn't own any. Um, I didn't really start watching horror until my ex-girlfriend in high school um, got me into them. And uh, needless to say, this is one that I watched early on and I really enjoyed it. So I'm really happy to have this one with a ton of special features on here. But um, I always grew up with cheesy 90s and 80s action movies, so I hope they do more boutique releases of those because I love that genre. Uh, this next one is another Criterion release. Um, I don't have a lot of Criterion stuff just because it is quite expensive, but I do appreciate the releases. They're very high quality. And this is a classic one that I've never seen. I've been meaning to see, and it spawned pretty much the whole zombie genre. And that is Night of the Living Dead. And everything I've heard about people that own this version of the movie is this is the best version of this movie. Um, and it's super nice. It comes with um, a poster. And uh, it comes with a two-disc Blu-ray set. 
and um, it's just a really nice release. I still have yet to watch this yet, actually, but um, it's got a ton of special features, so that'll be nice to go through, and uh, I'm just really happy to add this one to my collection. I'm a pretty big fan of zombie movies, so it'll be interesting to see a very early one. All right, this next one is actually one that I did watch already. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite zombie movies just because it's very different. And it's actually a sequel. Um, I've not seen the first one in this series, but I did see the second and third one, which is weird. But uh, this one's my favorite so far, and that is Return of the Living Dead 3. Uh, this is just a really cool um, horror, like zombie horror movie, and it's got a twist where the zombie is a little bit more... Um, sentient you could say it actually has like thoughts so that's really cool and I like that um, and there's a lot of really creepy moments in this movie that I just find really interesting and it's just a very interesting movie and this is also one of the Vestron video releases and I really really like these releases this is actually my f favorite boutique label currently um, it's super cool uh, they've got a lot of like good um, cult classic horrors. Um, they only have horror movies right now, but um, and sort of creepy movies, but it's a really great release. Uh, a lot of really good special features on here. It's a really cool looking package, and uh, I'm just really happy to have that one in my collection. It's one of my favorite zombie movies for sure. I would like to check out the first Return of the Living Dead at some point, but I just need to get my hands on that. Uh, this next one, was another blind buy, but I have watched the first one in this set already, um, and uh, I was really pleased with it actually. And I picked up the Wishmaster collection. Uh, this is another Vestron uh, video release, and this has all four of the Wishmaster movies. I watched the first one, and it it's really good um, in terms of just like '90s horror. I think this is a '90s movie. Yeah, '97. In terms of 90s horror movies, I think this is a pretty good one. It's a monster flick, and uh, monster flicks can be pretty cool. And uh, I think this one holds up pretty well because it uses a lot of practical effects. And um, I've watched some of the special features on here, and there's really, really interesting special features. A lot of interviews with the cast now, and then you have some older special features from the VHS on here as well. So really cool. Um, definitely happy to get that one in here. All right, this next one is another blind buy, and I'm not going to watch this one until I finish all the others, but uh, I plan to get this one eventually. And that is the 2019 remake of Child's Play. Um, like I said, I picked up the uh, Child's Play set, and I really liked the first three movies. And so I went to Walmart to pick up groceries, and lo and behold, I found this for solid $5. And I was like, well, I might as well complete the collection of Chucky movies and pick up the remake and um, I wanted to watch this one before I had ever picked up that other box set just because Mark Hamill is Chucky in this one and I really really like Mark Hamill he's a really great voice actor and he's a really good actor in general so I'm interested to see how this one's different I hear there's a lot of things different in this one compared to the original and I really really like the original Child's Play so um, it'll be interesting to see the differences, and um, I'm happy I picked this one up for a great price. And it came with a digital code, which is always great. Right, this last one is another straight-to-Blu-ray movie, but um, this one looked interesting. I saw the trailer for it. I haven't actually watched it yet, but it seems really good, and that is The Owners. Um, like I said, straight-to-video movie. It has Maisie Williams starring in it. I think it's her first like full feature picture. Um, not sure. Don't quote me on that. But it's a horror movie about these teens that break into this rich old couple's house um, in the United Kingdom. And it sort of is very similar to Don't Breathe, but it's also got, you know, from the trailer at least, I'm also getting some uh, Get Out vibes to it. So it seems like a pretty interesting psychological um, horror movie, and I really like those. So this one seems like it could be pretty good. I know a lot of other collectors have been picking this up recently. So I have good high hopes for this one, and uh, it came with a slipcover, so that's always nice. Alright, so that's everything that I picked up uh, for this video. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment box below. Have you seen any of these movies? I'm always happy to talk about uh, movies that I pick up in the comment box below um, and go more in depth. And then, um, yeah, if you guys have any 
recommendations for me, please shoot me some recommendations. I always like hearing movie recommendations, and I try to watch all the movies you guys recommend. But yeah, that's everything I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.